Let me know if you could hear now. My Bluetooth was on. So let me let me know if y'all could hear me now. I turned it off. You hearing me now? Okay, good. All right. Better. Okay, thank you. My Bluetooth was on. That's why. It happened to me before. When my Bluetooth Bluetooth is on, y'all can't hear me. Okay. I see 53 people up here. How are we doing today? Hey Hannah K. Y'all ain't seen me on live in a while. Tap the screen, guys. Tap the screen, because you know me. I'm about to get into it. Uh, I'm about to go off. I'm not going off, because I love your advice. Thank you. Thank you very much. What are we going to talk about today? Single mothers? What are we going to talk about? Single mothers and the stigmas. What's going on with my face? Uh, nothing. Duh. Okay, nothing going on with my face. I've missed you, Kim. How have you been? I've been good. Like, I mean, I've been between good and bad and <laughs> everything in between. You know, fighting my own demons. You know, trying to get over, you know, my own shit. Because at the end of the day, none of us is superwoman or superman. You know, we got to deal with We got to deal with our shit. We got to deal with our shit. Hey, Titi Kim. What is that? Hey, baby. Hey, where, where you been? I've been here. I've been here. I've been on TikTok. I've been right here. I ain't got nowhere. I've been, I've been, I ain't got nowhere. These people on here, they, they doing, they doing their thing again. You know, they, they doing their thing again. I can't last. So I'm gonna ask you guys, whoever is up here, to go on my YouTube and subscribe to my channel because that's where I'm gonna start doing my lives daily. When I say daily, I mean every day around this time. And we are gonna talk about whatever we gonna wanna talk, whatever we gonna talk about. So I'm gonna have a set time for my lives every day. We're gonna talk about whatever topic is hot. And you're gonna come, you know, tell me stories, send them in, I'll read them out, whatever. And we're gonna get off of this, this, this one. I mean, it's fun over here, but it's no fun. Because whatever you say, somebody's going to find it offensive. Even if it's just 
you talking, your own opinion. If you, even if you're just telling a story about yourself, somebody's going to find it offensive. And at this point, I can't fight with them anymore. Talk about non-negotiables. What is that? Oh, non-negotiables like in relationships? Okay. What are your non-negotiables? Because me, I got a lot. I got a lot. Small kids is a non-negotiable for me. Go change a diaper. Leave me alone. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Small kids is a diet. Is a non-negotiable. Because nine out of ten times, you're not through with that person you got them kids with. And even if you are, you shouldn't be. Like how you got two kids. One is two and the other is four. But you're not with the mother. I mean, what happened in two years? That have you also done? And even if you're not done, I don't want to be a part of it. I'll pass. Married men. Non-negotiables. Oh, we married but we sleep in separate rooms. Or I'm not with, I'm not, I don't love her. We're not doing anything. Married men, men with baby mamas, men that live in a house with their baby mamas talking about, oh, we only live together, but we're not doing anything. All these lies, all the lies that they tell, those are non-negotiables. If you got ties with another woman, that's a non-negotiable. If you're separated, saying, oh, we're separated, but we're not divorced, non-negotiable. I mean, that's if you're looking, actually looking for a relationship. That's non-negotiable. You don't have a job on the books, non-negotiable. Whatever else you do should be a side hustle. You should have a job on the books. You motivate me so much. Thank you. At the end of the day, they'll come with their mouth full of lies. And let's listen. When you find out that people lie to you, that should be a non-negotiable. But a lot of them lie because they want you to fall in love by the time that you... By the time you get the memo... By the time you realize what's really happening, you're so in deep. It's a very narcissistic thing to do. That's what they do. They tell you they're divorced when they're not. They tell you they don't have children when they do. They tell you, oh, I only have one child. You find out they got five kids. You see, that's the things they do. They tell you lies about, oh, I have my own business. When really, they're just living off women or whoever, or whoever they're living. Because they want, by the time you find out that that's not what it is, you already fall for them. And you're like, okay, shit. And that's why they don't tell you when they're in a relationship or when they're married. Because they don't want to give you, give you the choice to choose to either be with them or not be with them. And I really think that should be a criminal offense. They lie for no reason because a lot of them, they like drama. So when they lie, they give you a reason to act out when you find out. So they say, oh, she's just crazy. How many times do you hear a man say a woman is just crazy? Guilty until innocent. That's it. Don't rush. Don't rush into anything. Like, if you meet a guy and immediately he's like, oh, I want to be in a relationship. I want you to be my girlfriend. Please run. Please run. That man sees something that you have that you want and you want it very quick. He want it. I want it. And I want it now. He doesn't have time. Narcissists don't have time. By the time you realize what's going on, he already got everything that he wanted from you or given you everything that he wanted to give you. And it's not nothing good. They never give you anything good. They give you children and STDs. They never give you anything good. So they want to force things. They want to rush because why they're rushing is because they have somebody else on the shelf that they can't leave there for too long. They got somebody else that they're discarding while they're love bombing you. But they can't leave this person on the shelf for too long. So what they do is they come and they come to you and they spend all day, every day with you for the first two weeks, for the first month. Now you're thinking, oh, this person could not have anybody because if this person had anybody, they could never be here with me all the time. Two weeks with a narcissist can feel like two years. You feel like you know this person forever. Like I know this person only two weeks and we feel like we know each other forever. It's 
a sign that you're moving too fast. If y'all want me to read foolishness comments, you're going to have to send me gifts. Because I'm not answering nobody today. And no foolishness. I'm over it. I'm grown. Yeah, if you want me to read foolishness, you're going to have to send me gifts. If it's, not, if it's not something that's beneficial to what I'm saying, I'm not reading it. Unless I get paid. So keep it, keep it coming. Tap the screen, guys. When they do you dirty, they look at you as crazy. Like something is wrong with you. Listen, they know exactly what was going to happen. Oh, yeah, you got to block them. You got to block them and move on. And some, sometimes, like, when you leave these people alone, like, they're running your life. And the love bombing is so, love bombing is abused. Because when a person starts out doing something that they have no intention of continuing, but they do it because they want to get you to a certain point where you're hooked and you're, you, you know, you're hungry for that validation and you, you want them to get back to that person again. So you will go above and beyond and you will do the most just to see that person again. You're not going to see that person again. That person is gone. That person was never real. That person was never real. These are the ones that give women children. Thinking, okay, I'll put my mark on her. So, she's going to always say, oh, that's my baby daddy. And he's going to always have a place to come back. Because that's how most of them think. That they're always going to have a place to come back. I trade her for, that's all I talk about is them. Because they're the ones that make everything bad for everybody else. Every tra everything I'm talking about are narcissistic traits. And sadly, it's most of them. It's not just one and few. You see it everywhere. Multiple baby mamas. A deal breaker. Thank you, two facts. Multiple baby mamas. Deal breaker. Narcissists. Sometimes people can, you know, live more. Sometimes people live more than one life. Like, let's say... Let's say you're from the islands and when you, when you were young, you had one woman and you know, you, you thought that's where your life was going to be. And that's where you was going to end up. And you had three kids with her. Let's say three, two, one, it don't matter. And then you get a chance and you come to America, Canada, England, and then you find another family. And then you had some more kids. You know, sometimes people have kids with different people because that's just how life is. You move on. Everybody that have kids with different people. It's not a narcissist. Some people just move on and it's just what it is. You're in a different place. You meet somebody else. Life goes on. Because I really don't like people that backpedal. That backpedaling thing is for narcissists. Good, decent people move on. Because that's the right thing to do. So I'm not saying if a guy have two sets of children with two different women, that he's a narcissist for that. Or even a woman having two sets of children for two different husbands or two different men that make her a bad person. I'm not saying any of that. I miss you too, love. Told y'all I'm not reading no shit comments. I promise. <laughs> How do I don't. I don't get paid to get mad. Thank you, Gabrielle, for the gifts. My baby daddy cannot come back this way. Nobody that left cannot come back this way. Do not let them come back to you. Let me tell you something. Once they leave, it ain't you. They didn't go out there and finally realize that they loved you and you was the one. They went out there. And the universe beat them real bad. The person they thought was better than you was actually worse. And they're coming back to you because you are a placeholder. And this goes for both men and women. Anybody leave you should not be able to come back to you. Even if, even if it's for a day. Even if, 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 if your spouse, your partner leave you for a whole day. Until it's over. And the next day they want to come back. It's one or two things. They're playing a game and they're going to do it again because every time that they want to go cheat on you, they are going to leave. They're going to break up with you to go cheat on you. So they say, oh, it wasn't cheating because we had broken up. Very narcissistic thing to do. Men do it. Women do it. 
So if they leave you for a day, deal with that pain, call it a day because you're saving yourself from greater pain in the hand. You are saving yourself. They did not leave you to go think about life. They did not leave you to go to church. They did not leave you to go write a book. They did not leave you to go focus on themselves. They left you for somebody else and it didn't work out. That's all it is. When they come back, they either get bored or realize the grass ain't greener on the other side. And what makes you think they're not going to look at how the grass is again? They are going to. That's their nature. They can't be satisfied. They're always looking. They're always looking. And that's why a lot of, especially men, when they grow old, they want to force themselves on younger women because all their life they thought they could find better, so they wasted their lives. Oh, I could always find better. They have the perfect woman sitting in front of them ready to be their life partner, but they're playing games because, oh, I'm not ready to settle down. I could always find better as if they're not getting hold too. Yeah, they act like they're not getting hold. And they run around and a lot of them a lot of them sit there and abuse you too because they know you're a good woman so they sit there they neglect you they pretend like whenever you want to talk about things that happen in you happening it's not really happening and you're crazy and they gaslight you and because they want to keep you in that trauma bond they want to keep you because even though they're out there and they think the grass is greener they know the grass is not greener what they really want to happen is they hope that if they go out there and it don't work out, you will still be here for them to come back to. Why do you think they're nice to you for a little bit and then they're mean all over again? Whenever it's not greener out there, whenever it's not serving them. Whenever it's not serving them, they come back until they find something else to tickle their fancy again and they're all excited again. Then they ignore you again. That's what I tell you. Don't deal with hot and cold. Anybody that's hot and cold is cheating. Anybody that's hot and cold is not for you. They're not with you. Even, if you. even if it's your friends, even if it's social friends, anybody that's hot and cold is dealing with other people. Always looking for greener pastures. And that's not nobody you should be trying to be committed to. That's why I tell women, listen, after the last time I said I was in a relationship, I would never ever call a man my man until maybe the first year we gonna date for a year i'm not talking about living together nothing let me block your bitch you want attention so bad right there go to black nation there's a lot of people like you in black nation yeah Okay. Hey, Ophelia, they always try to come back. Never take them back. Yeah, that's what they do. That's why they give you kids. And that's why they marry you. And they put you down because you're a piece of furniture. You are supposed to be here until I go around and I catch HIV and I catch herpes and I come back and I'm sick and I have diabetes and I need four different pills every day. You are supposed to be the one that's supposed to look after me. Even though when I was good, I never showed you love. You never had a good day under the same roof as me, but you should stay here until I'm old and I ain't got no use to myself. You know how many women I know in my life growing up, they only got their men when the man was too old for anybody else to want and they was with him since the beginning of time. But they only get with these men. They only get these men to themselves when these men are like 60. And you know what happened when they get to that age. That's when you see him all up under her and she got to be dealing with this sick man hoo 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 in all day, breathing heavy. <laughs> That's what women get because women stay too long. Women stay too long. And as I said, I don't read comments unless it's from my friends or from people that's gifting me. So don't think about it. You will not get the response you want out of me. You are in the wrong life.
And if I, if I feel tired of you, I send you to Black Nation. That's all. Oh, I love being by myself. I've been by myself almost all year. And it gets better every day. I swear to God, almost all year. It gets better every single day. Oh, look at that. She said, my ex died. If I had allowed him to come back, now I would be the one who have to bury him. I wish I would. The only man I'll ever bury is the one I was married to. Or I'm still married to. Call it that. Because that's by law. Or my children. God forbid. Listen, I'll tell you something. They will, listen. It's this lady on TikTok. And they will sit here and they'll say people are man bashing. But if they really listen, they will realize that we're really trying to help them. Just like they think the grass is greener on the other side and they go out there and they run themselves into the mud. Because they're just out there wasting their time, wasting their money, wasting their lives. And it come back to them when they're in 40, 45, 50 and they realize everything that I've ever been chasing in my life is nothing. All it brought me was pain, sickness and bills. I spread myself thin. Now I ain't got nothing, not a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Then they want to come back to the woman that they dogged out. Now this woman done healed, found herself, bought a house, got her credit right, driving a brand new car. Now we're talking about, oh, what's up? She don't want you no more. She be looking at you wondering how did she even look at you in the first place? She don't want you no more. When a woman is healed, she don't see you the same. That's why y'all like to come back around and spin the block ever so often to keep a woman in a trauma bond. But we're doing better. We're not falling for that anymore. We know that you didn't come to your senses. We know that you're just keeping us on the sidelines so we don't move on. We know the, the, the game is rigged. The game is rigged. There's no secret anymore. Just like the devil don't have no new tricks, y'all narcissistic men do not have no new game. It's over. Everything is out in the open. And that's why y'all don't like women like me. Because y'all don't want to do better. You don't want to see yourself as the problem. You don't want to see yourself as the person that breaks the family. You don't want to see the person that make kids you know you was going to abandon. Let's talk about it. You know you wasn't going to marry that woman, but you gave her three children because you thought if I give this woman three children, ain't no other man going to want her. And then I could be able to go out, live my life the way I want to live my life. Fuck all the bad bitches. And when the women that I really desire take all my money, decide they don't want me, now I got my baby mama to run back to because now when I get sick, she's going to be the one to take care of me. Ladies, love yourselves. Self-love will get you out of any abusive situation that you are in. It doesn't matter who it is. Do not let nobody come at you sideways. Nobody. The minute somebody says something to you that you don't like, do something you don't like, cut them off immediately. Like, okay, we're done because you're not going to play with me. Listen, all this can stop. At the end of the day, y'all is going to have pick me's, but they don't want them. They don't want them. They want me, a woman they think they can break, a woman they could make stupid. They don't want an already stupid woman. They don't want an already submissive woman that's going to just say, oh, okay, daddy, oh, what you want me to do today? And revolve her whole world around him. They don't want that. They take those women, but they use them as placeholders. They're puppets. Those are the women they use to abuse other women. They want a woman they can conquer. Yeah. And then when you conquer them, no, you're the BIT. Yeah. Most of the time when you hear them talking about how women hurt them, nobody hurt them. They don't have feelings. They're just mad that they didn't conquer that woman and that woman know the game they were playing better than they do. They just meet the female versions of them. I don't hide people to my lives and I'm not reading comments. I don't argue. I don't debate this my life. So go on another live if you want to debate. I don't have people. There's no box on my screen, okay? Goodbye.
they laugh at, yeah they laugh at them they keep them until they have enough money to go pursue who they really want so they they have to have somebody they're not like us who can be like you know what i'm single i'm good they have to have somebody that's a purpose that the pygmy serve when he have money, he go to a strip club and he throw it on the woman that he can't speak to in the street. He go to um, somewhere and he find some woman and he pretend like he's that man. He's a baller. He's not no baller. He's living his fantasy because in real life, he don't have this. He don't have a woman like you. Tap the screen, guys. Tap the screen. If you like it, tap the screen. No, I used to be getting real riled up over here reading comments. I'm not doing that anymore. This is not the place for you. If I feel like I want to, I want. If I feel like I want to respond to something that is going along the line of my life, I will. And if you want me to address your degeneracy, it's a whole big ass gift. I need a hair plane. Shit, I need TikTok universe to respond to degeneracy. And that's a word. I'm out of your league. Bye. Thank you, Cards World. Why do they feel the need to come in a place that is not for them? If you don't agree, leave. You see, that's how they are. They like to impose. They like to force things on us. They don't like that we, like, every day they say they don't want us. We're not desirable. All kind of stuff. But the minute you say, you know what? I don't want you either. It's a problem. Because no, they don't have anybody to not want. No, they don't have anybody to not want. They don't have anybody to break. And you see, just like, just like a leech. Just like a leech. Gotta have something to cling to. To suck the life from. So are a lot of them. If they don't have anything to suck, they will wither away and perish. And you have to stop being... Their life force. That's why I haven't done lives in so long. Because I'm not going to sit up here and give my energy to these energy vampires that's going to sit here, rile you up, make you mad, and argue with them. Like, what am I going to do that for? If you have a problem with women, go talk to your mama. I swear to God. I talk to my son the same way I talk to men on the internet. Do not do this. Do not do that. You will pay the price for it. If you got kissed by three women, three women own you. This is America. That's 17% for each woman. When they decide to put you in court. And I'm going to tell all of their ass to put you in court. Because men should take care of their children. That's what I tell my son. So why do a man think I'm going to come up here and I'm going to spoon feed him. And I'm going to, oh, here, you little baby. You're not no little baby. You're a grown man. And whatever your mama didn't tell you, I'm going to tell you. You could listen to it and you could learn or you could go and you could cry in a corner and call me bitter. I'm fine. I'm fine being called anything you want to call me. Uh, trust me, I'm trying to help men on this hat more than I'm trying to help women. Whether you want to believe it or not. I'm the only person that like y'all. Especially if you're young and you ain't had a kid yet. I'm the only person on this hat that likes men. Because everybody else is lying to y'all. Telling you, oh, I have kids that you don't want. Get women pregnant that you don't like. Just to put a hole in them. Imagine when every woman start to realize that. Listen. These men do this. Thank you, Kitty. Imagine when women start to really realize why y'all even have kids with them in the first place. Because a lot of women think their baby daddy love them. I'm here to tell women, your baby daddy don't like you. If he like you, he would have never give you a kid and not marry you. He would have married you and he would have made you a wife and he would have put you in a house. Then he would have give you children. That's how love works. Love don't want to see you struggle. Love do not want to see you struggle. Love don't want to see you just walking around here in a daze. You can't get your finances together. You can't get your hair done. You don't feel good about yourself. A man that love you is going to put you on a pedestal. He's not going to put you down there where anybody could reach you. Because that's what happened. Men think if they put a woman on a pedestal, she's going to see somebody better than him. That's why they try to break you every chance they get. Even if they meet you and you're above them or you're on the same level as them. They never stop until they 
put you down underneath. You got to be under here for them to be comfortable. You got to be right here. That's where they're comfortable with you. They could do whatever. And they could push it on a little further. And when they feel like it, they could be like, come on, baby. But you're not going to pass here. That's where you belong. That's how they are. And even if they meet you and you're at the top of your game, they're going to make sure that by the time they're done with you, you are beneath their knee. My mama used to say, they don't want you to pass their knees. That's how it works. But they got it all wrong. Because when you put your woman on a pedestal, another man has to outdo you. When you, when you take a woman from here and you put her here, because, you know, y'all don't like women on the same level as you are above. So, yeah, let's say you take a woman from here and you put her here. It's good enough because you could look down on her, right? Then you make her hard for another man to read. Because it ain't nothing for you to do like this and put her on your level. And every man ain't going to do that. That's what smart men know. That's what smart women know also. They put you all the way underneath their foot bottom. All the way under their foot bottom. Let me tell you something. I can tell you one time, I remember I was in a relationship. I ain't going to talk which one. And that man, for the first year or two, it was okay. After that, it was like I wasn't even there. I start to look around and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, am I not desirable? Like, there was just nothing. There was just nothing. And I felt invisible, unseen, unheard. I would be laying there complaining about pain and this man would not even do like this. So I wasn't looking for it, but I went out and I found it. I found me a, I found me a dude so ugly. I wouldn't even look at him. I found me a dude so ugly. But he was giving me a, the attention that I wasn't getting at home. And I started fucking him. And I ain't sorry. That's what happened when you put a woman down so low. She's accessible to just anybody. I don't care if I'm desirable to you. You could... Yeah, I told you not to fuck with me. Listen, I don't care if I'm desirable to you. I'm not on this hap trying to find a boyfriend, a husband, a man, nothing. Or even a, a friend. I'm not trying to listen. I'm not here for that. If you notice, I make the ugliest videos on TikTok. I make the ugliest videos on TikTok. Because I don't want anybody to desire me. I am desired in, in real life. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely the, cl the closest he can get to, to a woman, especially one like me. You, you know he went to Black Nation. Yeah, he was good for one year, then you went quiet. Now you're everything that's bad. Yeah, they, went, they go quiet first. They're the one that started to give you mediocre sex first. And that means you'll be like, okay, all right. Is this what it is? I got to get off at 1 o'clock because I got to go to work at 2. But the minute that you realize that they're playing games and you're like, okay, is this what it is? And you shut down to, it's you. Oh, it's she that don't want to give it to me. It's she that ain't talking to me. That's what they do. They do that to make excuses. They do that to make excuses to go cheat on you, to ignore you, to just have you there as a body. Do not be a body. As a woman, always be independent. Always be able to take care of yourself. That way, when you don't like what's going on, that's why they want to come to you and they want to financially abuse you. They either want to tell you, oh, don't work. I'll take care of everything. Or they want to tell you, oh, we're going to do 50-50, knowing that this place is too expensive and the money you make is not even going to allow you to do 50-50 and save. That's why. Next thing you know, one month they're going to say, oh, I don't have my 50. Because they're making sure that you don't save a dollar. They're making sure that you don't have any money to, to leave. Have y'all ever noticed that when women leave relationships, abusive relationships, they always ended up having to go back to their mama house, go catch up with their homegirls, go to the shelter. They don't have a dollar. Women often leave relationships with nothing. Especially when they have children. They can't even get child support. They struggle for the next three, four, five years. They make sure you struggle when you leave them.
Most men don't have a man around to teach him how to be a man. Listen, a good woman will teach her son how to be a good man. I promise you that. That's all you got to do is tell him how distasteful it is. Since they were small boys to treat girls a certain kind of way. That's it. Most of them are like that because that's how their mama taught them. We're not going to pretend like these women that's raising their sons are not raising their sons to not like women. Because if you think I'm up here to bash men and I'm not going to tell the truth, you, you ain't ready for me. You ain't ready for me. Most men that were raised with their fathers are good men. Because the men that decide to sit around and stand around and raise their kids are good men. Most, some of them raise their sons to be some, some no good, whatever. Yes, good women train their sons well. Some don't have a mom or dad. Even if they have a good mother figure, somebody, a good auntie, somebody that's going to teach you how to be, listen, it don't take much. It don't take much for children to have humility, to have morals. All they need is somebody around them that have it to teach it to them. That's it. That's why they say it takes a village. Yeah. Of course, the black mothers and grandmothers cuddle the, cuddle the, yeah, they cuddle the boys. And then they tell the women they got to be strong black women. They have the boys sitting down playing games all day and have you walking around cleaning up, um, cooking for him, um, bringing, bringing, bringing him his plate while he sit there all day. Doing his laundry, all that. That's what they do. Yeah, I choose the man I'm with, and he's very nice. He's very nice. He's very, he's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful person. And I chose him. He ain't perfect, but he's a beautiful, beautiful person. His heart is pure. Yes, I choose the man I'm with. You're right. Because I, I didn't know I was up here talking about my man. I thought I was talking about the men out here. <laughs> I did not know I was up here talking about my man. <laughs> yeah, I chose him and he chose me too. Yeah, and his mama raised him right. His mama raised him to pay bills and love women and love himself. Most families, the grandparents are raising the kids. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to do that because sometimes as parents, you have to be out there. Man don't, not, yeah, man don't normally love his woman. Most men, the women they live with, they're just using her. I swear to God, most of my life, that's what I see. They're just living with a woman who will have them. Because the one they really want, they can't have. It, it's true. Ask most of them. I saw a video going around the other day when, when they asked the guy some question about what he do about women. He said, he take the ones he can have because the one he really want don't want him. How can you teach? How can you teach like a 59 year old man who loved the street to be a good man? Child, you don't sound like you're 59 years old to me. So why are you trying to teach a 59 year old man anything? Move on. I hope you're still on the live. Because I'm, I'm scrolling up. <laughs> I hope you're still on the live, honey. Move on. What are you doing with a 59 year old man? What are you doing with a 59 year old man? Child, do you think any man alive walking the face of God's green herd is going to bother himself with a 59-year-old woman talking about how can I teach her anything? Why do you let men get away with things that we can't get away with? It's time we stop allowing men to get away with things from us that we can't get away with from them. If you cheat one time, he leave you. If you cheat one time, you leave him. You disrespect him one time, he, he, he leave you. He disrespect you one time, you leave him. He's too old, you don't take him serious. We too old, they don't take us serious. Stop trying to raise these grown people's children. Stop trying to pretend like people don't know what they are doing. People know what they are doing. If I go out and I go cheat on my man, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing.
I did it because I wanted to. Because I didn't trust the relationship. Because I felt like I needed a crutch just in case he, he walked out of my life. So even though I might think I have a reason to do it, I knew what I was doing and I knew it was wrong. Especially if you're committed. Just stop letting these grown people tell you they didn't know what they were doing. I went on a date with a 60-year-old man. He didn't want to pay no bills. I blocked him. He'll... Wait, 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 Hi, Dexter. Um, did he not want to pay for the food or y'all talk about bills that he said he don't pay bills? Like, I mean, he's, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. Like, Kevin Summers of y'all men messed up. He do y'all more bad than good. I think Kevin Summers do women more good than men. The women that will actually, that will actually listen. That man do women more good than men. Y'all think he like y'all. But he was sitting right there in front of you, messing y'all over. Because how can you be 60 years old, trying to get with a woman that's 25 years old and think you're going to have a good life? She should have her own money. Get off my life. If she have her own money, why? what she need a 60-year-old for? And no woman on the face of God's green earth with her own money wants a 60-year-old. A 60-year-old man is only desired for his money. Get it together. Stop being delusional. He definitely was right. He definitely was right. I don't know what kind of woman that likes herself, that, that have options, is going to be with a man that's over 40 years old and do not have any money. Get it together. Oh, men get more desirable over 40. Yes, because men over 40 tend to be more financially secure. That's why I used to date them. When I meet men that's over 40 and I get with them, I don't pay for nothing. I get a easy, I get a free ride, you know? I get a soft life. They got their, they got their stuff together already. So me, I'm just the harm candy. I'm just a kept woman. I'm just chilling. That's the only reason that women get with men over 40 years old. Because men over 40 is like a 15-year-old BMW. Don't make no sense to put it in the shop. Just crap it for parts. I swear to God. Like, I got a 7-year-old BMW. I can't even stand to look at it. I don't even want to put it in the shop no more. I'm like, damn, I need a new car. That's how I see <laughs> No, stop. Y'all got me. Listen, don't let me start. <laughs> Do not. I don't drink no more. So I'm not even drunk. But don't, don't, don't make me start. Don't let me start on them whole foreign cars. Because whole foreign cars are the worst. I miss you too, boo-boo. Tap the screen. Send some gifts. I'm finna go. But I'm, listen, I'm going to be back if y'all give me a good vibes. I'm going to go to work. I can't be back for the day. But um, I'll be back tomorrow around the same time. Tap the screen. Make TikTok know that you love me. Make TikTok know that you love me. Yeah, so listen. If you're walking around at 35, you're talking about, oh, I got time. Messing up, good woman. Yes, Kim, I love you. You wise me up. Thank you, baby. Well, you don't miss me. I miss all of y'all. <laughs> miss me once. Yeah, I do. I'm not telling nobody my age. The people that knows me already know my age. If you stick around long enough, you'll figure it, figure it out for yourself. But um, what I'm going to say is, if you are 35 years old as a man, even 30, and you're sitting there playing with good women, you're playing with yourself. You think you got all the options in the world. Men are getting heady. At 25, 30, 35, imagine getting a Hedy at 35 and you already don't have a woman that you're with. Who is going to get with you with Hedy? You don't think about that. You get sick, terminally ill. That's when y'all talk about, oh, I want to marry, I want to settle down. Ladies, let me tell you something. If I ever see any one of y'all becoming hospice care wives, marrying these men when they're on their last leg, I'm not going to talk to you again. You're not supposed to marry no man you can't get at least 15 to 20 good years out of. 
That's always been my motto. I'm not marrying no man that I can't get 15 to 20 good years out of. Because I'm not taking up no half dead man. I'm not half dead. I'm fully alive. Yeah, your mother did this. A lot of women do this because a lot of men lie and a lot of women are desperate just to say, I have a husband, my husband, my husband. I'm glad I got married early. I got married at 25. You think I care about that anymore if it's not benefiting me? I don't even want it if it's benefiting me. Just pay my bills and give me an allowance and go away. I don't want your problems. I don't want to meet your mama. I don't want none of that. Just... Just, just take care of me. If you're a millionaire, a billionaire, just buy me a nice house on the hills or wherever the house is. And just, you know, just give me some big money in my account so I know that if you kick the bucket, I'm great. Like, I don't want to be nobody's wife. Thank you, Miss Melanin. Rain. I don't want it. I don't want to fight your family. Call it whatever you want delusional whatever the, you delusional to think i'm delusional call it whatever you want because guess what y'all want wives because y'all want emotional punching bags y'all want somebody that's gonna be there because you want to go out and be nice to everybody else and come home and be mean to your wife no you're gonna go out be mean to everybody else come in and be nice to me because you can only see me when you're in a good mood that's why I'm the woman I am. I do not deal with men's problems. Go to a therapist. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Go talk to your mama. Listen, go talk to a tree. The bar is in hell, fellas. No, we're not dealing with y'all bullshit no more. The bar is in hell for y'all. Because we can't find a man that don't want us to be their mama or a therapist or somebody to struggle with. Y'all the ones that got the bar in hell. And we're not going to hell for no bar. Y'all the ones that want to take women out talking about you got to pay for your own stuff. You're telling that woman immediately that I will never take care of you ever in life. Imagine being a woman that can get pregnant and you're getting with a man that's telling you I will never ever ever provide for you. Because you won't even provide on the first date. You won't even impress her. Because you are the prize, huh? Because you don't know what a woman is. You don't know what a woman is supposed to bring to your life. You talk about bar in hell. Stop playing. Y'all ain't never been no victims. I got my own money. You the one that don't got no money. That's why you're talking about 50-50 um, and people should pay on dates. Why would I take my fine ass? Like, 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 why? Why would I take my fine self? Why would I take my fine self? Put on my clothes. Put on my makeup. To go on a date with a man and pay for myself. Like, I could take my home girl on a date and pay for her. Every day of my life. Why would I take myself? Out with a man and pay. Like, okay, here. Here is half. Go away. Stay in your pay grade. Stay right in your pay grade. Go find you a pick me. Why would any woman that likes herself do that? You see, they don't like women that like themselves, you know. Because women that like themselves is a threat. Because you're not going to allow anybody to treat you less than you treat yourself because that's all i do i don't allow any man to treat me less than i treat myself and i treat myself very good i treat myself very well i buy whatever i want for myself i eat what i want i go where i want to go i wear what i want to wear i drive what i want to drive because i can afford it for myself Miss Snatch, I don't even work out, girl. We will skip over you. I've already skipped over you. I've already skipped over you. I'm out of your tax bracket, out of your pay grade. The only way you could ever even get to even have a chance with me is to be a nice person. To actually not talk so much bullshit. Just be like, hey, I don't have any money. But if I had it, I would have given it to you. Try that next time. Man is going to pass me. 
Men never pass me. I pass men. Your hair is beautiful. Thank you. I did it myself. Because I'm tired of spending money. I got to pay rent, this, that. I'm not spending money in here, too. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Tap the screen, guys. I'm getting off of here in 10 minutes. Because y'all ain't going to let me be late for work. I got to get this. I like this live today. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. See, I ain't paid attention to these men like that. They're lucky I even respond. Next time I'm not responding to nothing. That's not talking about what I'm talking about. Nothing. They want to dumb us down. They want to dumb us down because they are scared of us to be alone. Yeah, when they see you, your body snack, they want to bring you food all the time. They want to bring you pizza and all that stuff that's going to make you look bad. Like, I, I, nah, I don't want that. Bring me a salad. With no dressing. Harlan vinegar. That's it. Bring me some seafood. She sounds very truthful. Ignore them completely and don't watch their negative. I don't. Girl, get up. Get ready. I'll leave your ass in this house. You, you can tell the bitter men. They're not just bitter. They're broke. They can't afford the women they really want. And they don't want to put in the work. Because putting in work takes effort, it takes discipline, and it takes time. They want what they want, and they want it now. So instead of getting themselves to work, give themselves five years to get where they want to go so they could get who they want to get with, they want to break women. They want to find women that's already established, got their stuff together, and break. Be like, oh, yeah, you got to settle for me because you're over 35. I wish I would. I wish I would. 